Hello, welcome to Community Forum. I'm Sandra Gropi, and today I have Mary Ellen Lundy with me. Um, she's a local Stoughton parent <laughs> um, who has a new business called An Organized Approach. Um, you know, given the time of year that we're at, we had a rough spring and we're coming into summer really fast and furious. Um, what better time to talk about um, organizing? So, um, welcome. Thank you for, for being here. I yes. know I kind of knocked on your door to try to get you here. Um, Thank you for having me. No, this is exciting. Um, quick question. I really want to know, I know that you have children and all that. How did you get to this point? Like, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, I am a teacher background as a teacher and mm -hmm. got married several years ago. We moved to Stoughton, fell in love with it here, started having children, got involved in the mom's club, started meeting lots of local people, and sort of started sharing some of the things that I do. And it sort of happened really organically and it was beautiful how it happened that people just sort of started tagging me and saying, Mary Ellen's really good at this, look for her, like maybe she can help you with this project. And it just happened really nicely. And I'm all of a sudden now having a business and I love it because I love to organize. It sounds silly, it sounds cheesy, but I love to organize. And because I love what I do, it just makes me good at it. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and there's always that piece of calmness, right? From, for, from being organized or knowing what's coming and, you know, Absolutely. All that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and obviously all that teacher, which is, yes. so you have to be organized as a teacher and have everything yes. set. So, and having yeah. children. Um, well, that's very interesting because I too like to be organized. Yes. Um, not always that, or I think sometimes when there's a little bit of chaos in everyone's life, you go, ah, right. And yes. you can't, um, figure it out. And I think what's important is little bits of tips, and I know that you have them, yes. that you're going to bring to everyone, but those little little things that people can do themselves, but also um, I want to hear about what you bring to the table and then how you can help people too. So um, like, let's just talk about like, what are some little like tips that someone at home could try? Just something, if they're overwhelmed. Absolutely. One of the easiest things to do is to simply set a timer. And obviously there's, um, timers on everyone's phones, but if you're going old school like me, yeah. um, it's super easy. Just set a timer for 10 or 20 minutes. Start working, and that way you have an allotted amount of time. You're not stressed out. You're not getting distracted because you're focusing. And then there's this amazing gratification that happens after you have completed a task. Yeah. And that's okay if you haven't gotten the whole thing done because the next day you're just going to do that small allotment of time again. And then it's nice because what happens when you're organized, this beautiful thing happens. Yeah. You feel good and it sounds so cliche, but you feel like the weight is not holding you down anymore. Yeah. You feel lighter, you have more time, you're able to find things easily. Um, and that's sort of what happens as the process happens and you say, do you know what? I really don't need this anymore, you know, and then you get rid of this and you get rid of this. I'm more minimal now in my approach and I don't have 47 t-shirts anymore. I only have five or six. So my decisions are being made much faster. You know, I no longer, when we're going to a wedding, I no longer have 12 dresses to choose from. I have two or three mm -hmm. and my decisions are faster. And so I'm saving time. And money. And money, and money. And money, which is something I'm picking up here too, which is pretty key. Yes, um, yes. That is, that's great. <laughs> so like when setting up the timer and doing that little task, is it just to, to tackle the little things at once and know that you can just, even if it's within that 15 minute period, just get that one thing done and you know, don't worry about the rest. Is that the mentality or is I it? I think to start with for sure, especially if people are feeling overwhelmed or maybe collectors of things yeah. um, in their home, I think it's a good start position. And you know, it's one of those things that people pay babysitters, people pay to have their hair done yeah. and it's okay to pay an organizer. It doesn't mean that you don't know how to do that. It's okay to ask for mm -hmm. help and I tell my clients that all the time. It's okay to get help because everyone needs help with things. You get help yeah. for your mental status, you get help with your nails and everything else. So it's okay to ask for help and I always tell them that. 
And that goes around a, a question I wanted to ask where, it, it, you know, it's kind of very blunt, but I'll just put it out okay. there. And it's Ooh. why should someone hire you? Like, what, what would you bring to the table? Um, I'm young, I'm innovative, and I have fresh ideas. And I think what's most important for clients to know, and everyone has told me this at the end of our sessions or during our sessions, of that I'm here to help. I'm not here to judge anyone. I have three little children and life gets busy and it's okay to ask for help. I'm not going to judge anyone and I want you to be successful in life. And one thing that makes me special and spark is I don't want your house to look like a perfect magazine because trust me, as soon as your children get in that house, it's a mess again and that's okay. I want to give my clients the calm and the ease that I feel every day. My house is not perfect by any means, but it's organized. My children know what's expected and know where their things are. And I want you to feel that when you hire me. And I love after I leave a client's home after weeks or months and I get uh, beautiful notes and messages saying, Mary Ellen, this is still working really well. And I think something that's important for everyone to know is I'm not here to change you. I'm not here to judge you or to say you cannot have that collection of 50 Beanie Babies or 7,000 seashells, whatever it may be. It's okay to have those things, but what's important is that when you have them, they need to be shown. If you love something, you want to show it. And oftentimes when we all become collectors of things, they're hidden under um, beds or in drawers. And I want your items shown and loved because when you love something, it should be displayed. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a great, you know, great point. And I think if you can bring all that from your experience and from what I understand, again, mm -hmm. I heard about you from someone I know. Yes. Um, and they had mentioned, you know, she's she's great and she offers like this this you know, service that's amazing and you've done it to some local folks. So yes, you I've have helped customers. out a local business. I've had customers in Sharon, um, a few in Boston, several in Stoughton, and everyone has been happy thus far, thankfully, with my services. Um, but it's just about feeling happy in your space and loving your space. I, I love my home. I have less items, so I'm spending less time cleaning. I'm not getting stressed out all the time. And mm -hmm. it's okay to have less. I'm not going to make everyone be a minimalist more mm -hmm. the way that I have approached. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. It's more uh, the, first, the first step for being organized is 99% of the time is less. You need less things. You know, everyone, organizing is, is really hip right now. Everyone's into it because KonMari, you know, came out and she has a series of books and she just had a Netflix show. And I am i don't know that she teaches everyone. You stole my question. I was oh. going to ask you about no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, re I really want to hear what you think yes. about the KonMari method. I'm not here to change any of my clients. I don't care the way you fold. I don't care any of those things. I just want to know what you do and then we can adapt because you can fold something however you want it as long as there's less. You don't, I don't, in my opinion, I don't think you need a special system of how to fold because when you have less items, you don't have as many in your drawer and you don't need to have a whole system. Yeah. It works for some people and that's great. If it works for you and that client is already doing it, that's okay, but I think let's face it, we weren't taught to fold that way. Yeah. There are children that fold that way and that's and that's wonderful, that's yeah. great. Um, I just know my nine, eight and six year old, I'm lucky if they fold the towel or their shirt back in the drawer, which is a mess. I can barely get my yeah. socks in a ball, so I totally get it, I totally get it. That's like a whole different story. I buy all the same color socks for the kids so yes. that they can all just go and we're not Yeah, I do the around. same for my husband. Yeah. Yes. And then the multicolored ones, I noticed the kids wear different colors, like yes. two different, and I'm like, oh, whatever, makes it easier. <laughs> but I heard two things that you were basically talking about, which for me are kind of two different steps, minimal, being a, becoming a minimalist, mm -hmm. and then also really you're talking um, more about structure, it's, and, and that's something we kind of put in our house for our children. Yes. So, when you, when you, so from a minimalist perspective, it's really, it, it, it's very different, I think, from the Kamari method have the same type of goal. But Absolutely. It's, but it's 
different because when you become a minimalist, you're really just looking at how much do you have. And like some people put a time limit and say, I haven't used it in a year or two. And yes. that's how you kind of do it that way yes. versus hug it. I think there's that. I don't know it. I, yes. I, I tried to watch it, but I couldn't get through it. But it's like. You thank it, thank the T-shirt yes. for what it gave you, and let it and make yeah. piles, and um, yeah. So I, but the structure piece, which I, um, I keep hearing, that's different because we all strive for that in life to be yes. organized. And I think with with two children, with with three little children, it's it's challenging because I know so many adults that say no one ever taught me this, and yeah. and, and I'm talking very simple, very simple things or things that are yeah. simple to me. But you need to teach your children organization just the way that you teach them proper manners, etiquette at the table, all of those things. Because there's children in middle school who fall apart and have no idea what they're doing mm -hmm. because they have never been taught organization. You That's know. funny you say that because I do agree 100% because yeah. I think that the method that you have at home and you continuously try to um, do and show your kids they kind of adapt some of those pieces, not the full piece. But Absolutely. On their own, eventually they adapt some of that. Yes. Like my kids will go trick or treating and then do separate baggies with this is the chocolate, this is the cake. Oh, I love they, it. Like yes. this stuff. But they do that and yes. I go, oh boy, what did I, what did I do? <laughs> but I think that kind of moves over into, <clears throat> you're right, once you get to middle school, it's so different. Yes. Homework and juggling all these different things. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you know, it's just so much different now. But, um, you know, what do you see, I guess, with with your little ones? I know they're young, but yes. do you see any of that kind of moving to them in school, um, like at school, like getting them prepped for going to, you know, higher um, grades? Mm -hmm. Do you see any of that being used there? For sure, at least, hmm. especially at the Gibbons third yeah. grade, they are amazing. What an amazing set of teachers that truly teach organization from your desk to your system to something as simple as writing down your homework. Mm -hmm. And that's great, but oftentimes with my nine-year-old, I cannot tell what he wrote. Right, right, that's <laughs> but, true. Yes, all of those things are so important um, for organization and something, even just taking a piece of paper and they think they've done a good job if they put it back in their homework folder. Yeah. No, that's not. Yeah. You need to slide it into the plastic part so that it stays where it's supposed to be, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, and, 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 and I think that that's funny because I, as they get older, you start to notice some of those little bits. So I guess I, one of the key things that you're, you're kind of trying to, 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 to get out there and you're teaching me is um, uh, teach them when they're younger. Like yes. get that, ha, make, have them part of it Absolutely. when you're doing the organizing. Yes. And that's, what, that's great to hear because I just thought I needed help. It's so, so I'll important. get them in and say, hey, come help me do these piles and Absolutely. do this. So, um, like, what have you done at home with the kids to kind of organize? Like, are they in charge of certain things? So my children have chores mm -hmm. every morning. Um, anything that is a simple task, but that would typically take my time away. So something from feeding the cat, changing the water, picking up around it, uh, vacuuming around the litter box, vacuuming the house, cleaning the table mm -hmm. after breakfast, making sure the cereal bowls are away. Mm -hmm. Just very simple things, but that would normally take 20 or 30 minutes for me to do solo yeah. on top of trying to get children ready. Um, and again, I have very simple systems in my home. Um, can you picture it like a shoe rack mm -hmm. that, you know, that would go on the back of the door with yes. the plastic little pockets? I have those. I think on... we have some pictures too of some of the stuff that yes. you've done at home. Yes. With that, so maybe we can look at some of those. That too would be right awesome. Now. You yes. Can talk us through some of those. I love I that. Yes. Cool. We have some home ones for myself and then some client ones as well. Um, but one of the things that my children are in charge of is something very simple. I, ha I live in, I don't know. 1,400 square feet with five people. You can't come into a home and throw your shoes anywhere. So they have a pair of shoes that they wore to school. Their job is to go to their bedroom and put their shoes on the back of the door. Mm -hmm. it's, it, otherwise, you'd be tripping. We live in a very small space. You'd be tripping over. And I think living in a smaller space is also pertinent to having organization because Otherwise, there would be things everywhere, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. but very rarely are my children saying, Mom, where 
where is this? Yep. Because they know where it should be. It's either in the backpack area, it's in their homework area, or wherever. So what would you say a good percentage, or not a percentage, it's work, let's not go there. But okay. what would you say <laughs> is um, one of the things that is probably the easiest that people just don't do, that could, could kind of, we, we talked about the timer, but um, you know, in this day and age, everyone's going, going, going. Yes. Everyone's so busy and there's so much going on. So what would be a good tip for folks um, outside of doing that to yes. get their like Ooh. crazy schedules I love it. on um, order? Some of my favorite tips for clients are, and it sounds so simplistic, go through your mail every day. I have a stamper, like a canceller, that goes over the address. I do too. too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but also the children's chores in, include going down. The shredder is downstairs. So going downstairs yeah. right to the shredder. Don't make a shredder pile. It gets done right away. Um, so going through the mail every day, having a section where, you know, you would later pay bills, but you have to go through that. Because otherwise, that's what happens in life is things pile up and pile up. And then people feel yeah. that weight and that heaviness. Um, and so I try to eliminate that. And it's one of those concepts, Sandra, of doing something slowly over yeah. time, which again, you need to teach children of, you can't procrastinate and do something until two in the morning. Like right. that's, you can't consistently do that. That's not the way life works. You're given a long-term project and then you need to do a little bit at a time. And I, I think that's also part of life. Yeah. You know, um, another tip that I love is to make your bed every day again so simple it sounds so, so simple. simple but so hard <laughs> you know, um, no but. when you make your bed every day you are sort of it sounds silly but setting the tone your bed is the largest thing in your room and once that looks nice and all your toss pillows that your husband loves are on the bed um everything looks nice and then you say oh gosh those socks are on the floor i need to go pick them up and then again in just that you know, maybe takes 45 seconds mm. to make a bed. And once that, you say, wow, this bed really looks nice. I want everything else to look nice as well. And so you just take that extra little bit of time and do those other things as well. And it makes a big change. So, uh, you know, so you do big jobs, little jobs, right? I do it all, yes. Great. <laughs> and if, say, I was to hire you, if you were to come into my home, mm -hmm. what would you bring with you? Like, what would be like the, you know, the, would it be a sit down? Like, how does that yes. all work out? So we would start with um, a quick sit down and evaluation of your space. I've even done FaceTiming with some clients okay. beforehand um, for an evaluation of maybe how many hours it would take. Right now I charge hourly. Um, so it would be a quick assessment of this job is probably four or five hours. Yeah. Um, and then I am literally ready to start working right away. And then um, I'm able to work with the client um, and help them and start implementing some organizing systems. And again, I work with them. I'm not here to change anyone. Whatever sort of system you already have, we're going to try to work with and just tweak things a little. Oh, sure. If they're calling you, they want you there yes. and they need you for what they're asking for. Yes. So that's great. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of the key things. I, I always wonder, like, if you if you have, call someone in to organize, because I won't lie, I am an organized person, but my schedule yes. is so hectic that at times yes. it does become one of those things where it's like, I'm looking at that. I know it's there, but I can't mm -hmm. tackle it. I can't do it. Yes. And maybe that's where, you know, I have to stop and say, I call someone like Mary Ellen. Yes. An organized approach and, and, and get that done. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know if this is like normal, but for me, I feel like once something is in a good place and it's organized, you feel more at ease when you're in the room. And you do. Home. You do, um, you know, having very simple filing systems near a calendar for school papers, work papers. I'm not stressed out looking for the papers for Starline Academy because I know exactly where they are in yeah. my house, you know, and then by taking seven seconds and writing something on the calendar saying payment is due here or, you know, fill out registration forms for next year on a calendar is, is yeah. really simple, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and you had mentioned that when you get mail and um, you get bills and you do them on map, do you just shred everything? You don't keep any of the paper? I shred anything that, you know, isn't a major bill from a car, or the house. Um, I do keep some bills, like an old school filing cabinet. I was going to say, how long do you filing cabinet? Uh, keeping all that paper? Like, what, what, is your, what do you generally... Uh, like bank statements a year, mm -hmm. um, and then taxes, I... You know, you can get away with four years, but yeah. I tend to keep seven because yeah. 
just in case. You never know. I don't want to mess with the IRS. Yep. But everything else, um, about a year. Okay. Um, and again, of course, everything, everyone lives their life electronically, um, which sometimes people don't even know how much things cost because things come out you know, yeah. of their debit, which is great for the paper reduction and that stress in the yeah. house. Um, but yeah, getting getting rid of those things every single day is so helpful. That's great. Th those are, it's a good tip and it's, I have a shredder, but I don't yes. do it right away. Right. Um, so it, like I'm listening to you and I'm going, ah, oh, you know what? I guess that's a simple task. It's not mm -hmm. something, it ends up piling up and then I go, oh, I have to it sit does. and do it. Yes. And then it becomes a full task. Yes, it becomes a full task, which in my life, I'm trying to make my life simpler and saying no more. I'm not looking for more things to do. So again, yeah. it does, it do, things do add up, of course. Um, but again, that concept of doing a little bit at a time and then you're not tasked with feeling so much pressure and feeling so much stress of having to do everything. So I'd like to take a look at some of those things that you've done, some of those those organized, um, you know, organization skills that you have and the jobs that you've done in the past. So um, I'd love it. I know that you sent us quite a bit. So we're gonna um, kind of just go through that if you don't mind. Excellent. So here is a linen closet, a regular linen closet for a busy family with three people. The image on the right is what it looks like now. Um, we still need to go back through and do some labeling. But what I love this and what I'm all about is taking what's already in the house. So this was a two hour project with children in the, in the house, but this project did wow. not cost anything but our time, Sandra. Wow. Simply our time. And we were able to get rid of and donate so many linens that were in here, um, but everything was already in the house. Literally, you just couldn't. This closet did not function for this family at all. And so we made it functionable. And her husband was happy, she was happy, That's great. and she didn't have that stress every time she opened up the linen closet. Um, this is a really fun one. This is a back pantry. And what happens on the left, there's, if you can sort of see on the far left, it's a lot because it's a pantry. Mm -hmm. And the image on the left has some um, large organizers from, I, from uh, the container store mm -hmm. and food is on there, which is great, but it wasn't functioning. It's hard to see what's in the back. And we'll talk about that a little bit later with some things that I brought. But on the right, we introduced a can organizer which sounds silly and you'd never know you have that many cans in the yeah. house, but between spaghetti sauce and other things, it really adds up Campbell's soup. So on the image on the right is a, a calmer image with things more organized. So you can see everything and, and, and then you know it hasn't expired. You're using Exactly, everything. yes. Yeah. Um, this is a really fun area. Um, this is actually one of my images. I have this on my site on Facebook for an organized approach. Um, and here on the floor, Sandra, we have a two-tiered um, boot rack because with three little children, it, this boot rack would fill up in a second. So yeah. we have a, a double-tiered one and there's space for everyone's things. So my children know when they come in, their backpacks get put here and there's no question, Sandra. And That's this awesome. was sort of unused space previously in the house. So it really worked out well. And then with the blackboard on the top, um, I got that for $20 used on a site. Um, and it's been, it. it's, yeah. been, it's been, it's been amazing in my house, but we write little inspirational messages for if, the children there. If you there. see someone without a smile, give them one of yours. Yes. Aww. So we do a countdown for the beginning of school, a countdown to the end of school there. So it's really fun or, you know, um, we have happy birthday to whoever's birthday it is. Mm -hmm. Um, but everything is organized and the children know what's expected and where to put things, yeah. you know, um, Oh, wow. Oh, this is one of my favorite wow. projects. This is for a dear friend, a Stoughton mom, who is a homeschooler. And she could not function in this space, Sandra. She wow. was stressed out all the time. And again, you talk about my time is important. And when you have something like this, you're spending so much time searching. Yeah. And so I wanted to make that simpler for her. And again, it's sort of looking at it before and after you think, oh goodness, it looks like this person just took all this stuff and threw it into a bag. We went through every single scrap of paper, categorized it, um, 
and one of the fun things about organizing, Sandra, is you don't know what you're going to find. Yeah. We found some gift cards. Stop it. Yep. Called while I was while I was working for her. Checked twenty, thirty, forty dollars on the gift card. So you never know what you're going to find when you're organized. And it's very homeschooling is a it's a big deal and it's a lot. So this is this is a great transformation. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, this is another really fun project. And again, even if you're not using the timer method, Sandra, like I suggested, this is amazing because this you feel good. Like if you when you look at that bottom image, Sandra, you're feeling happy. Everything has a place. There's no excess items, mm -hmm. and this was this area was for um, a starting freshman in college who needed a slightly mature space. Um, and we did not buy anything. Again, we took mason jars that were already in the house, um, and we took supplies from around the house and gave her everything that she was going to need to be successful in her elementary education career to be a teacher. Um, Oh, this is a really cute one. This um, project, I did go out to Walmart and buy the organizers, maybe for $9 in total for all of them, mm -hmm. um, and gave this little kiddo um, a really neat little arrangement with everything they were going to need to do homework in one of those drawers um, in a really old desk that was a sec secretary type of desk yeah. where you know the top folds I down yeah. yeah and um gave everything so again when you're putting things away sandra i know my children are being lazy if they put those colored pencils in the marker bin yeah because everything is there yeah you know and you can visually see everything and that's a really cool system because they actually connect so nothing is going to separate in those yeah um now I have this one posted on my Facebook page as well for an organized approach and this one's really fun. I, I know you're not supposed to put things on top of refrigerator, Sandra, <laughs> but let's face life, you need space wherever the heck it is sometimes. Yeah. So these are some easy organized bins and I'll show you some later as well. Um, these bins are just from Amazon. They are a little more expensive, but those bins that are on the refrigerator, Sandra, you can get for the dollar, uh, dollar Tree for a dollar, yep. depending on what you're going to put in there. Um, but these, this is an easy way. Um, a husband's lunchbox is held in there, a larger lunchbox, and some art supplies. So again, things that you don't need every day, but things that are important and that you need to have somewhere in the house. Um, Oh, this is one of my favorites. That's what you were talking about earlier, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So this is technically a shoe organizer, but what's amazing is you can use these all over the house. These are perfect for the back of doors, the back of closets, and no one sees it. Yeah. People can use these for cleaning supplies for their laundry room. They can use them for shoes. They can use them for hats and mittens. But here, we're using them to organize um, a fabulous little girl's um, accessories because in the bottom picture you know it says from this of things thrown into a bin and that wow. certainly is one way to have something and that's okay yeah. but it's not functionable um, and when you use I love things that are clear for this purpose and when you have things like that you know exactly what is in where. There's no question of where to put the orange bow is there right. <laughs> right. because everything is there um, this was a really fun project. I am all about using what's already in the house. This, um, nothing got added to this project. I already had these bins. Mm -hmm. The um, orange bins are, um, excuse me, the green bins are, again, Dollar Tree. And they have Expo muckers on them, so you can write on them and then erase them. Wow. So I love something that when we're done using it for these books, we can simply use it for something else. So besides those $5 of bins, this was didn't cost any money but 15 or 20 minutes of your time. And the picture on the left makes me nervous. The picture on the left gives me anxiety. anxiety. Yes, yes, me too. Yes, yes. it gives, makes me anxious. I don't like the picture on the left, yeah. but let's face it, that's life sometimes. Yeah. When you have a party and there's ch multiple children in the room, things end up like that. But again, you're taking this, almost everything from the left is also on the right. Um, and it's, it's, it's perfect. This is oh, your favorite. Also, I've heard um, this one. One of Mary Ellen's <laughs> favorite things. 
Um, these are from the container store for about $3. You can also buy them on Amazon. And I love being organized. I love making my life simpler. And when it sounds silly, but a battery organizer makes my life easier, Sandra. Yeah. The children know where everything is and everything is contained. Nothing is falling around. And then Sandra, you're saving money because you can visually see everything. Yeah. You don't think, you don't go, you know, go to change the remote batteries and say, oh, good Lord, there's nothing left. I don't have any. I need more AAA batteries. Yeah. Everything. Or a power, power outage. You can find your D batteries very easily. Absolutely. I can see yes. there in the C's. There's yeah. no question. I'm not going to be looking for things. Yeah. <clears throat> this living, this, excuse me, this bathroom has some open shelving from Target, some chunky shelving. Actually, everything on here is from Target. So you put all this in? Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is in lieu of a traditional medicine cabinet. Um, and everything looks beautiful. You can see everything. And then what you can't see is closer to the top, you know, built pill bottles. And it works perfect because you can't, you can't see anything in there. So yeah, they're wow. really nice fun little tips and um, but again you just implement a few of them into your life and it makes things easier and you feel less stress will you feel less chaos yes and can find things easier and thus making your life easier absolutely so that's great I've been making a lot of notes ah! this is going to be my my intro to this item here that's yes. on, it's on the desk. She has her <laughs> an organized approach on here, but it's a little trash bin that we have here. What do you use this for? Yes, so this is my trash bin for the minivan that three children or more are in every day. And they know there are times that there's wrappers from a Go-Gurt or a cheese stick or um, whatever it may be that everything belongs in the trash can. They do not belong in the back because of course we all know what happens. They yeah. fall down, they get under the seats yep. and they make a mess. So you put this in the cup holder and they have that. Yes. And that's a great idea. Yeah, it fits in any it's, cup holder in any car. It's and fantastic. It's perfect. Yeah. yeah. I think that's great. Um, we've gotten so much information to you it's like it's it's fantastic there's like a lot um i mean just seeing the pictures too it's like um it's become very clear that in that minimalist lifestyle too you're not only looking to use what's in the house without going out and buying more yes but you're you're setting budgets with people and what we saw in those pictures of jobs were different price ranges where you mm -hmm. kind of brought up you can go to the dollar store and get bins or you can go to yes. so it's you kind of cater that. And Absolutely. Liked, that was nice to see. Yes, I um, find inspiration wherever I am. Yeah, and that's what, that was great. <laughs> um, what I'm thinking is we have so many more exciting things ah, to talk yes. about. So <laughs> I, I just want to take a quick break um, and, and, and get a word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. Hi, this is Roy Cohen. The crew would like to thank mm, 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 mm. Mm. Maxie's Delicatessen, located at 117 Sharon Street in Stoughton. You can reach them by calling 781-341-1662. The American Cancer Society is looking for volunteers to drive cancer patients to and from treatments. You can volunteer by calling 1-800-ACS-6662 or online at www.cancer.org. Il Samox Food Pantry and St. Anthony's Free Market is located at 2 Park Avenue in Stoughton for more information, call Christine Gallagher at 781-341-0611 or 781-341-0549. To get involved with Meals on Wheels, call Jessica at 781-344-8882, extension 2. The Stoughton Penny Saver, our business is advertising your business in Stoughton. To advertise, call 781 781- 344-4833. Community Forum Showtimes here in Stoughton. You can see it on Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 6 p.m., Monday at 8 p.m., Tuesday at 5 p.m., either on Comcast Channel 9 or Verizon Channel 28. If you have any comments or suggestions, contact us at communityforum1 at yahoo.com. Samaritans, 41 West Street, 4th floor in Boston, Massachusetts, 02111, or call them at 617-536-2460. The 24-hour helplines, 877-870-HOPE, 
or 877-870-4673. Samaritans, 800-252-TEEN or 800-252-8336 or online www.samaritanshope.org. For you bingo players, I want to tell you about the Monday night bingo being held at the Ahava Torah Congregation, 1179 Central Street in Stoughton. The doors open at 4.30 p.m. The game start at 6.30 p.m. You come on down and win some money. They have two big prizes. One is $1,199 and the other one is up to $3,000. So come on down. And um, today we have Mary Ellen Lundy on. She, her business is an organized approach. Um, you can contact her at www.inorganizedapproach@gmail.com, and also look for her Facebook page. She's got um, a Facebook page under An Organized Approach. Um, so we are back. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, we have some exciting things. This is this is an exciting time where you're going to show us some of the tips. Yes. Um, so you've, we've we, we've brought some goodies in, and she's going to give us some of her favorite tips. Yes. Think of this as sort of Oprah's favorite things, Mary Ellen version. <laughs> um, so, so everything's free to everyone in the room? Absolutely. After? Okay. Everyone <laughs> gets some. So one of my favorite things to do, and one of the hardest things to do, I think, for people is to deal with those sentimental items. And one of the, way, one of the ways I sort of take care of that is I bind special cards. So I have binding books from cards from aunts, from grandmothers, and you're able to sort of have a beautiful collection of things that are meaningful, cards that are meaningful from people. Wow. Because of course, as the days pass, people pass on, and I think all of those cards that you would normally throw out, I am now collecting and making something beautiful. So this could, Sandra, could be a collection of love cards, um, cards from your husband or your wife, spouse throughout the year, mm -hmm. um, or from a beautiful occasion like a wedding. Um, it's often something I do for um, brides for weddings that I go to is I bind their engagement cards, their shower cards, and their wedding cards. So this is, this looks like this is fr from a religious event for yes. one child and all of the cards. This is amazing. Thank you. Um, this is great. And you have this the, the the binder. Yes, I have a binder at home. I don't yes. have one of these. I'm very <laughs> disappointed in myself. Okay. Well, come this over is my fantastic. house. Fantastic. Thank this you. Is, we have. Oh, that's great. And I do this with Christmas cards as well. And then the children love it because they get to look through, and they see everyone. That's you know, and it. That's that's like one of the you know I've I've not seen that done. So I'm yes. quite oh, excited about you. that. Yeah. Yes. So. Um, another one of my favorite things that's super easy, this cost me no money to do. I had all of my items at home already. Um, and what this is, is a simple takeout binder. And this is everything that's in Stoughton or around Stoughton. Oh my goodness. There's tabs on the side. And then these are little plastic dividers that I already had at the house. But mm -hmm. these are like 10 cents a piece at mm -hmm. Dollar Tree. Um, and everything is here. Um, so I have everything organized from Chinese food to pizza places um, and that sort of thing. And it, it works perfect. Uh, and it's really easy to see everything. I have little post-its in there, Sandra. So when you order from Papagino's or Olivio's or Lucky Garden, you remember what you ate, maybe, maybe what, oh. was, what was good, what wasn't good. And so that you don't order it the next time. This is wonderful. This Thanks. is a great idea of a smaller one, but it's just little yes. slots that it, this is a bit yes. more organized. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's great. So that one's really fun. Um, another one of my favorite things, it sounds so this? silly. That would be great. It sounds so silly, but it's a tank top organizer because tank tops would normally take up so much room, like half of a drawer mm -hmm. could be used for tank tops. So this works on tank tops with thick straps, thin straps. You simply hang here oh. and hang here, and then you just continue the process. You can do it on the back or on the front and then simply lay it down on a bed and flip them, or you go right to the closet. It takes up almost no room in your closet, whereas if you had it in your drawer, they would take up half wow. the drawer. And so you can visually see everything. Um, 
And it's just that flat space when you have everything. Yes. So it's just fitting in there. It's not that width. Yes. And it's taking up almost no space. And this is great for folks with limited space if you have, um, you know, a, a smaller home, less closet space. Right. Um, or, you know, well, not closet space, but you, you're not able to have many, um, you know, drawers or, or dressers. Absolutely. This is a great way to Absolutely. put a bunch of stuff in and one spot. And a two-pack is uh, $10 at Bed Bath & Beyond, but use a 20% coupon, and it brings it down. You can even share it with a friend because you yeah. would technically only need one of them. This not is amazing. Not even need two. So, again, super cheap. Um, if it's not obviously something you already have, yeah. but yeah, really easy to use and fun. Wow. Um, I am all about making my life easier, as mm -hmm. we said. Um, love these little turntables. Um, so you can, these can be used in a linen closet, you know, um, so you could put your items on like this. Sometimes people don't like them because they fall or whatnot. Um, so this is maybe $10, Sandra. Mm -hmm. um, you could go for a slightly larger one made by Interdesign, which is a spinning organizer, in case this isn't enough, and then nothing falls out. What I love about these, Sandra, is they're easy to use. Everyone can see what is in them. And you know, Sandra, when you need to go shopping for more body wash mm -hmm. or more shampoo because everything is here. You can physically see everything, and it's amazing and super easy. If it's in the back, you just simply turn it, and you can see everything. Twenty dollars at Bed Bath in. and Beyond. Yep. So w you would recommend this more in like a kitchen space? That mm -hmm. could totally be used in a kitchen space. If the items are really heavy on this, mm -hmm. it's going to be fine. But if you have some lighter items, they could possibly fall. Okay. So so this is could be wor work well with like spices maybe, right? Because For sure. Because they do have some weight mm -hmm. once you fill it up. Absolutely. This is a great way to kind of get that all organized even though you have that one spot in that drawer. So right. That's fantastic. Right. That's Those great. Those are really fun. And okay. then, th then this here, if yeah. you're kind of getting that put away, I just want to take a peek at this selfishly. <laughs> um, but we're not going to move this this nice mug. Ah! <laughs> uh, so so this here, you put this in the drawer in the bathroom, and you kind of is this for everyone, or is this your set organizer? And do, do the others have their own? Love this. If this is already in their own, I can go shopping for this. Or of course, with Amazon, we could shop for it together. If you were my client, yep. um, this is twenty dollars at Bed Bath and Beyond. Of course, it's on Amazon or anywhere love else. Love that. But it just makes life easier, and that's what I love. I, yeah, it's fantastic, and this is one of those things. They they do. It's very thick and well made. That'll last for a very absolutely. Very long time. And you know what? If you move, this could be reused somewhere else. This isn't specifically for under a sink or yep. a linen closet. So there's, that's what I love. There's lots of possibilities for this because sure. something has to be able to be used again. Yep. You know. That's great. Um, yeah. So, now, another one of my favorite things. Oh, we're going to have snacks. Ah! This is exciting. Yes, snack time for you. <laughs> yes. So, these IKEA plastic containers, mm -hmm. they're made for cereal. Okay. They're uh, $5 at IKEA, but Rubbermaid makes them and mm -hmm. other people. And again, I want my life easier. Mm -hmm. So, I am going to put this cereal into here. This is... Um, less than 12 ounces, a typical bag of cereal, super easy. And what I love about these is that my children are not fussing. Nothing in here is getting stale because they didn't put the clip back. They forgot the clip. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going to spill because even children have difficulty using this sure. and pouring this. So everything is so much easier. Everything fits in here. But oh. even if not, you could well, take out and finish. I was hoping, but this no, goes on. They smell delicious. This goes on. And then oh, you just wow. simply use this to pour. Nothing in here gets stale, and it just makes life easier. You know what cereal you have, how much you have. Exactly. You, know you visually plan. see when you take it out and think, oh, I need more Cheerios, I need more Rice Krispies, whatever so the case is. this isn't so much about um, having a container to put cereal in. It's more about the organizational aspect and the money saving aspect. Ab that's absolutely yeah. what it is. Yes. That's, that's brilliant. And again, that could you could technically use this for flour or sugar or again, it has another purpose mm -hmm. which is important in life to have more than one option. Certainly. For things. Certainly. Yes. Um, uh, switching gears a little bit to the refrigerator. Same thing happens in a refrigerator. Things get pushed to the back and you don't see them and then when you find that container of yogurt it's moldy, it's gross, and you've just wasted 450. Mm -hmm. You know, and I hate wasting money. Mm -hmm. um, 
again, um, just a plastic organizer. Mm -hmm. This is at Target, this is at Bed Bath & Beyond, maybe $7. Um, this can be used in the refrigerator and freezer safe. And again, this sounds silly to spend money on something like this, but it puts everything, it's a good space, there's a good seven inches there, and everything that's in your refrigerator can simply go in here and then you when you need out. it you just pull it out but again you're able to see nothing gets forgotten and nothing gets left behind in the back mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. the refrigerator so it's really nice super easy so can i just so quickly yeah. on this if you have limited space you could also do all dressings you could also use this for different purposes other than oh the absolutely freezer. absolutely so these are the things that these are your go-to's for when you have clients that reach out Yes. This is the kind of this is the kind of ideas. That's Absolutely, because again, it has so many dimensions of of use. Yeah, you know, it's not just a single use item, which I think is important, because time and money are important, Sandra. Um, so I think these are just easy things for everyone to use. Good. You know, that's that's fantastic. I'm going to pick my favorite after ah, we're done. Okay. Just so you Excellent. Know, but. Excellent. Um, I brought some really fun drawer organizers because, again, everything is organized, um, even, even my drawers. So we have here a regular drawer, okay. like would be in anyone's bureau, okay? Oh, we're going we're gonna to work today. Ah. <laughs> this is what's happening. So this could be anyone's drawer, packages thrown in, t-shirts, underwear. That's not really functional and I don't I don't want that in my life because I want my children and myself making quick easy decisions um, this this set of organizers mm -hmm. is um, from Bed Bath & Beyond mm -hmm. and they stretch apart mm -hmm. so they're good for multiple uses and put them in here multiple drawers yep and then you just shape them there's grips on the side so no matter what, you really cannot move that. And they're adjustable, Sandra. So if you decide that particular underwear needs more room, you just move them over. And really, I'm, you know, they stay in place, so mm -hmm. it's, it's perfect. Um, and again, I don't, care how you, I don't care how you do your underwear or your socks. I don't care if you roll them, if you fold them. Whatever works for you is fine, just as long as everything has a home and, and that's important again you're teaching your children that your husband that and just yeah. that daily reminder well, it's easy to find everything when you're in a rush or yes just, absolutely and again yeah. there's still plenty of room for t-shirts for socks huh. um, in here or if you chose mm -hmm. not to use these let's say these are too expensive and and these organizers are just not in the budget Sandra mm -hmm. okay because again that's that's around the twenty dollar sure. price point so those are too expensive. Bed Bath & Beyond also makes these okay. interlocking, you can see here, yeah. we'll connect to the next one, interlocking little totes. And sure. again, this can be used everywhere. This can be used for food, this can be used for clothing. And again, doesn't matter how you fold, what you do, everything has a place when you simply have an area for it. So I tell, yeah, I tell my kids everything has a place, but you can organize it the way you want. Absolutely. It has to just go yes. in I love to that. The, the spot that, whatever works for them. I love but, that. Yeah. And then everything has a home when you have yeah. an area for it, so it's perfect. So um, this is the, 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 the method that's less costly, and that's a me method, so just a, a little more, I guess. Yes, and even like when Marie Kondo shows stuff, on her Netflix series, she would just take like an old shoe box. Right. You can take an old shoe box and throw some contact paper on it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be some expensive, amazing thing that mm -hmm. you can find at a store. And I think that's important because it can be overwhelming for people to hire someone as well as to then buy these products. Absolutely. You know, it just, whatever your space is, it just needs to be functional. It doesn't need to look like a magazine. I, I, that's the way I feel. Yeah. I just need needs to, to work look for you. Nice, yes. Yep. Um, there's also Dream Drawer, which has been my first love, um, and they, it's the same concept yeah. of that expanding. But again, what's great about these is that they can go horizontal, they can go vertical. You yep. can take this out and just 
is a spring and that comes right out. Yes, and then what you can do is also, as these things, they're so flexible, they work with larger draws too. It's yes. not just the straw. So Which is important because this is a yeah. smaller drawer. And, yes, and the width you know. um, works. That's what I like about this. And I do like the flexibility in this. Absolutely. In this. So, yes, that's important. Um, that is huge. Yes. Um, I think the other thing that is pretty cool with how you're doing um, organizing all of this is just you're giving different options, but also um, you use these. It's not something yes. that you, um, you know, kind of say, all right, we can go buy this and this and I'll put these in your home. Yes. These, these are tried and true methods. These Absolutely. are things that you actually mm -hmm. do at home, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to see your favorite item that you have, which is in a um, plastic bin over there oh, that we got to see. Yes. So um, here. We need to zoom in on this one oh. because this is. The Here exciting. is um, my battery organizers, um, Amazon or um, the container store, which can be a little pricey, Sandra, So it's mm -hmm. and they never have coupons, so it's not something I do a lot, um, but I do try. Uh, again, these vary from $1.50 to $3, um, but I can tell you right now, Sandra, I have had this container for like the last 15 years. Wow. You know, um, so you open up a package that's pretty much these are in like a, a cardboard package with a plastic seal. Instead of having yes. them falling out, you put them in here, and they're all just ready to go. Yes, and again, there's no part of part of. And another reason why I really like the cereal, Sandra, in here is because I'm getting rid of that cardboard mm -hmm. right away. Because yeah. again, what happens in life is things get things get tricky, and you end up spending so much time doing that. You know, I do a big shop at Costco and then all the cardboard goes right out. Yes. So that, that's not stressing me out during the day. But again, similar to some of the spinning organizers, you can visually see what's there. Mm -hmm. So again, Sandra, anything that makes my life easier, I am all about. So I want to see what, how many more I have left and I know when I need to buy more mm -hmm. because everything's here and you can see it. So yeah, that's it just, great. It sounds silly, but it just makes yeah. my life easier. And I don't use bit. those. That's yes. um, I have plastic bins, but um, that is definitely an interesting yeah. method. Considering you don't use these all the time, so it's nice to just have them stored in case one Absolutely. blows up or something. After Absolutely. You know? And yeah. I bet if you ask your parents or any older people, they're going to say to put your batteries in the freezer because they last longer. Oh. People are all about that. And these containers could go in the freezer. Oh, very cool. Of course. Very cool. You know, that's easy. That part's easy. Um, do you have a lot of space in your house? I do. I do have a lot of closet space. The kids oh. have a lot of closet space in their bedrooms. Yeah. And, you know, we have the bins and we have all that. But, you know, at times running around from sports schedules and all mm -hmm. that, it gets hectic. They yes. throw things or you say clean your room and I've caught the, I put it all in the closet. And then <laughs> yes, you open it, yes, like, ah! thrown somewhere. Yeah. So um, as I've shared, I don't have a ton of space. Yeah. So I don't love the idea of things being under a bed. Yeah. Um, my mother, who's almost 80, cannot stand it. She doesn't think it's appropriate. But the, the life that I live, I need things under the bed. And that's OK, Sandra, as long as it's organized. That's right. Right? So show us this one quickly. Uh, this yes. is the one I've been eyeballing the yes. whole time. So Super quick. this is a Clever Crate mm -hmm. from Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, like about $10. It's called a Clever Crate. OK. And things Thanks. in life get busy. Let's face it. Lots of people like to keep their shoes in a shoe um, in shoe boxes. It's not my style. But let's say you have a ton of shoe boxes around. Um, this is a perfect thing for them. And this would fit under any bed. Um, here and what's great Sandra is watch this mm -hmm. Can you push those sides in for there you go. No. And then Not it closes down to almost nothing. This is great for car organization Absolutely. as well if you yes. go away and you mm -hmm. put like you know snacks or what a long car ride um, you can put this in the car and as it empties out um, you can flatten it or if you go to Costco yes. runs BJ runs mm -hmm. this is great to open yep. up put the stuff in and then it holds a ton of weight. Yeah. In which is super easy, Fantastic. super easy. This could be another option for you mm -hmm. for um, under the bed organization. Again, mm -hmm. these are like five dollars a piece, but mm -hmm. again, you're talking Dollar Tree has them now. Mm -hmm. So depending on how sturdy, what mm -hmm. you need. So this is exactly what's on top of. Do you remember the picture with the yes, the, the fridge. So it's the yep. refrigerator picture. Yes. Yep. And then again, if you need things underneath the bed, this is this is a perfect option for them. 
you know. That's great. I've yeah. never I've never seen that. I yeah. like that collapsible option. Yeah, it's fantastic. That great? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. This is so exciting that we got to kind of go through all this, especially at this time of year. Like yes. I said earlier, it's you know it's still spring to, cleaning. It it's is. Still spring. We had a very cold. <laughs> Cold today. We yes. had a very cold spring, so I totally am I'm yes. with you on that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, look, hearing all this and thinking about it, and I know that there's the fat of the KonMari method, mm -hmm. and um, you know, a lot of folks kind of go through that, and it still seems very overwhelming. I think these little quick fixes at home that you can take care, care of are huge, mm -hmm. but also I think that having you come in with your knowledge is even bigger because mm -hmm. you can offer not only this information but you can actually come in and do yes and um you know and and, and then kind of set it up for them in, mm -hmm. in a way that they're able to keep up with it absolutely so i think absolutely. that i think that's the big part that um is important and i'm really happy that you came thank on the you show today to talk thank you about for having it. me because being organized is always in fashion it's always in style. It always is. It always, especially when you need to find those shoes that yes. are stylish. You got to have everything organized. Absolutely. Um, yeah, but I agree. I agree. Um, especially in this day and age where there's a lot of activities yes, going on. Yes, people's lives are busy, Sandra. Yeah. And, and I'm all about making things accessible for people. Again, I'm not trying to change anyone. If your children are into swimming, let's figure out how we hold that 40 pound swimming bag somewhere yeah. or whatever it yeah. is, you know? Yeah. Well, I hope to see you at more um, local events where. We might have more, you know, like tents and things like that, fairs mm -hmm. and stuff, so that you're there and able to kind of show some of these tips, but also offer your service. Yes. Um, you know, if for folks out there who are, you know, just um, hearing about an organized approach, you can reach out to her. Um, she has a Facebook page. You can email her at anorganizedapproach at gmail.com. Yes. I memorized it. Thank you. And, um, <laughs> And, you know, please um, feel free to come out um, and support her at any events. I know you talked about um, more before we, yes. we, we went live that you're trying to get to some of the local Stoughton events. Mm -hmm. um, as we wrap up, I want to thank everyone for watching, um, everyone here at SMAC, uh, in particular Mike Hammond for getting all those pictures up and helping out, helping with organizing all that. Jeffrey Pickett for your help with setting up and everything that you've done. Definitely Dave Young for helping set up and all the laughs. <laughs> today. Um, CJ Mullen um, behind the cameras, Roy Cohen, um, of course, um, Zach Castle, and you know, just a big shout out to Leo McGowan. Um, Leo, we miss you. I hope to see you soon. Um, guys, thank you for joining and we'll see you at the next show.